Hey there, what's up guys? I am DCSK. Thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm gonna show you the ultimate guide to farm Gilded Swift Striker in Instant Hunt. Also, the Gilded variants of Backstepper, Shocker Armor, and Shadow Crossbow. Here are more ultimate guide on farming Gilded item. You can check that out at right up here and down there at the description. It can help you to speed up the process of farming Gilded item. Alright, the first thing you need to know is which rune to summon the instant mob that have a chance to drop this gilded item. It is the double L, O, and 3 rune to summon the instant the swarm. Now, you can start to farm the item that assigned with this rune. Just farm rare or common item is enough. And there are many items that assign with this rune. I have filtered it which and where so you can find it much more easier and faster. Now, here's the table. This table contains all the information that you need. I have filtered everything for you guys, so just follow this table. All these are recommended items to farm. Those items that are not shown in this table is not recommended to farm. And you can farm anywhere you like listed in this table. Yet there is no shortcut this time, you gotta run at least 2 missions to farm everything you need. And there is 3 types of combination. For first method, farm at Winsway Peaks, it drops Tempest Knife, Dual Crossbow or Longbow and Ghost Clock. You still need one more rune, head to Overgrown Temple and farm Mercenary Armor. Now you have everything, you can go for 9 point run. For method 2, while we are farming at Overgrown Temple, you will be able to get Spear, Ocelot Armor, Trick Bow and Soul Healer. So use Ocelot Armor, Trick Bow, Soul Healer and Tempest Knife, then you can go for 9 point run. If you are out of Tempest Knife, then head back to Windswift Peaks and farm. For third method, use Spear, that you get from Overgrown Temple, or Solar Armor, Trick Bow, or Dual Crossbow, or Longbow, and Ghost Clock, then you can go for 9 point run. So, that's the 3 method. If you are confused, just farm repeatedly at Windsweep Peak and Overgrown Temple. These 2 mission drops everything you need. Depending on what you get, then offer it to summon the Ancient the Swamp and start hunt your Guild the Gears in no time. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below. And if you enjoy my content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, it is free and it will help me a lot and thank you very much. Alright, so to farm all these items faster, choose the difficulty that you can one shot with your ranged weapon. If you're unsure, then just select the easiest difficulty. If your power level is at 250, then Apocalypse plus 10 is a good choice. Then equip armor and artifact, then increase movement speed, mini weapon with prospectors and enchantment. It is not necessary to have this, if you have it, it is a bonus. So you can earn some emerald while farming item. And hub crossbow, if you don't have hub crossbow, lightning hub or skater crossbow will do. With any of these crossbow, you can kill much faster. You can also buy this item from merchant, check it out from time to time and restock if you have some emerald. If you see the specific item you want, just buy from them. If you save you a lot of time and don't restock too many times, it will cost you a lot unless you are rich. If you want to get rich and farm easy experience, you can check out the link at Right up here and down there at the description, it can help you to get rich and earn a lot of experience just by standing. Alright, once you have everything, equip the best skill you have then you can start the hunt now. I recommend you to go with 6 points is good enough. If you wish to go with 9 maximum points for even higher chance, yes, you can do that. If you are having trouble to go 9 maximum points, you can check out my video on AFK farm experience. It is a very simple guide and you can earn a lot of experience just by standing. The link is at right up here and down there at the description. As for the difficulty, select based on your gear capability. And of course, the higher difficulty, the better item power level draw. In the hunt, just look for the purple glowing door to beat the ancient the swarm. This boss is easy, but you gotta be very careful, especially if you are using melee attack, cause his minion and the mines are enchanted with Thorn Ara, he can kill you instantly. And the boss is enchanted with mob resurrection. His minion will keep coming back to you, so it is better to have potion barrier enchantment on your armor. Activate before you swing your weapon and use everything you have to finish them. If you still find it hard to kill, you can always one shoot instant kill the boss by using torment quiver. Equip an item taken as soul. A soul bow with dynamo enchantment is good enough. Then make sure to gather some soul before you enter the boss arena. Charge up at least one stack of dynamo. Active torment quiver, then charge shoot to finish the boss. Ta da! And here is your killed item, pick it up and to the next door. And every time before you exit the instant hunt, it will refresh the picking merchant stock. So make sure to equip an armor with Lord of the Sea enchantment, it will have higher chance to offer you with gilded unique gears. If you see the gilded gears you want, just buy from him, it will save you a lot of time. 
Alright guys, I hope this ultimate guide can help you to farm Swift Striker and other Gilded Gears much faster. If you have any question or suggestion, you can leave a comment below. You can also hit me up in my Discord community, everyone is welcome to join. I hope you enjoy and find some useful info in this video, and before you leave, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, it is free and you will me a lot and I am very appreciated. So, happy hunting, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.